Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very exciting video on radical equations. The given equation is 4th root of 2x plus 3 times 4x plus 5 times 6x plus 7 over 9 equal to x plus 1. And we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started by raising both sides power 4. 4th root and power 4 will be over. So I can write 2x plus 3 times 4x plus 5 times 6x plus 7 divided by 9 equal to x plus 1 whole power 4. Now I will take 9 to the RHS and I can write our numerator of LHS it would be 2x plus 2 plus 1. Here I can write 4x plus 4 plus 1. And here I can write 6x plus 6 plus 1. RHS would be 9 times x plus 1 whole power 4. Now let us divide both sides by x plus 1 whole cube as x not equal to negative 1. Let us divide both sides by x plus 1 whole cube. So I can write like this x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. So here I will be writing x plus 1 whole cube. Now I can cancel x plus 1 whole cube from the denominator. Now here I can write 2 times x plus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Here I can write 4 times x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 and here I can write 6 times x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. RHS will be 9 times x plus 1. Now I will divide literally numerator by x plus 1 in LHS. Let's divide. So it will become 2 plus 1 over x plus 1. Then we will be having 4 plus 1 over x plus 1. Then we will be having 6 plus 1 over x plus 1. And RHS will be 9 times x plus 1. Now let us assume 1 over x plus 1 equal to a. So x plus 1 will be equal to 1 over a. Let's apply our substitution. So I will be having 2 plus a. So let me write a plus 2. 4 plus a. Let me write a plus 4 and a plus 6. Right hand side 9 over a. Now this a we will take to the LHS. So a times a plus 2 times a plus 4 times a plus 6 equal to 9. Remember a is 1 over x plus 1. Now I will consider a and a plus 6 all together and a plus 2 times a plus 4 equal to 9. So I can write a square plus 6a in one bracket product of these two and once I will take product of these two then I will be writing a square plus 6a plus 8 equal to 9. 
let me write here a square plus 6a a square plus 6a plus 8 equal to 9 now I can use one manipulation step a square plus 6a plus 4 minus 4. Second bracket a square plus 6a plus 4 plus 4 equal to 9. Now you can see a plus b. This one is a minus b. Here it is a plus b. So we can write identity a minus b times a plus b we can write equal to a square minus b square. Let's apply. So I can write a square plus 6a plus 4 whole square minus 4 whole square equal to 9. Or I can write a square plus 6a plus 4 whole square equal to 9 plus 4 square. It is 16. So addition will be 25. Or I can write 5 square. Now consider a square root both sides. So a square plus 6a plus 4 equal to plus minus 5. So from here this quadratic equation we can generate two quadratic equations one with plus 5 another with minus 5. So I will write a square plus 6a plus 4 equal to plus 5 and a square plus 6a plus 4 equal to negative 5. So I can write a square plus 6a 4 minus 5 minus 1 equal to 0. Here we can write a square plus 6a plus 9 equal to 0. Let us apply quadratic formula. So a will be equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a which will give us minus 6 plus minus square root 40 divided by 2 which we can write minus 6 plus minus 10 times 4 so 2 root 10 divided by 2 so a can be written as minus 3 plus minus root 10. Now second quadratic equation this is one perfect square a plus 3 whole square equal to 0. So from here we can write a will be equal to minus 3 and minus 3. So we have calculated real values of a. Let me write here a equal to minus 3 plus minus root 10 and minus 3 minus 3. Now a was our substitution 1 over x plus 1. This will be equal to minus 3 plus minus root 10 and minus 3 with multiplicity 2. So I can consider separately. I will be writing 1 over x plus 1 equal to minus 3 plus minus square root 10. Consider reciprocal both sides. x plus 1 will be equal to 1 over minus 3 plus minus root 10. Now I will use rationalization. So I will multiply our numerator denominator with minus 3 minus plus square root 10 in the numerator also minus 3 minus plus square root 10. Now you can see in the denominator it is 
the difference of two squares. So I can write here minus three whole square and then minus root 10 whole square. In numerator it is minus three minus plus or plus minus the square root 10. Now denominator will give us negative one, nine minus 10. So I can write first minus three plus minus root 10 over 9 minus 10. So this is negative which I will take in the numerator. So it will become 3 minus plus or plus minus square root 10. So this will be the value of x plus 1. Now take away 1 from both sides. Let me write here itself. x plus 1 equal to 3 plus minus root 10. Take away 1. x will be equal to 2 plus minus root 10. We will check which solution will be extraneous in this case. Now the turn of minus 3. So I will write here 1 over x plus 1. It is equal to minus 3. So x plus 1 will be equal to minus 1 over 3. So x will be equal to minus 1 minus 1 over 3. So x will become minus 4 over 3. Multiplicity 2. Let me write here what we calculated 2 plus minus root 10 and minus 4 by 3. and minus 4 by 3. This is our x. Now there are three solutions basically 2 plus root 10, 2 minus root 10 and minus 4 by 3. Now I will consider our equation once. So I will be writing fourth root of 2x plus 3 times 4x plus 5 times 6x plus 7 divided by 9 equal to x plus 1. First condition which I can write it is from RHS this should be greater than 0. So I will write x should be greater than minus 1. Condition number 2 this radicant should be positive. So I can write 2x plus 3 times 4x plus 5 times 6x plus 7 divided by 9 this should be greater than 0 and using sign convention number line method then I can write the conclusion so either x should be greater than minus 7 by 6 first condition or x should be in the interval of minus 3 by 2 and minus 5 by 4. So uh, if I will consider the intersection of these two or better is to say these three conditions then conclusion will come out x should be greater than negative 1. So we will get real solutions once x is greater than minus 1. Now we have to only make sure which value is greater than minus 1. Let me write here x is equal to 2 plus root 10 x is equal to 2 minus root 10 and minus 4 over 3 x should be greater than minus 1. So if you will check 2 plus root 10 value then it is approximate it is 5.16 if we will check this value 2 minus root 10 then this value is approximately negative 1.1 and if I will check this value then this value is minus 1.3 so our condition on x is x should be greater than minus 1 so only this value we will accept 
these two will be rejected. So our final solution becomes 2 plus square root 10. And this brings the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.